getting ready to make a broccoli pizza. So it'll be a keto recipe. And I'm gonna grind up the broccoli in the blender. And one of the things I like to use for a pusher when I have vegetables in the blender is celery. So how cool is that? I can, as I blend it, I can push that down. If I had a food processor here, which I don't, I would have used that to grind broccoli. But we're using the, the blender and it's working just fine. So we're gonna add a couple of eggs, add a little oregano because that's what great pizza flavor comes from. And then we'll add a little salt, the salt with chili in it, and that'll make it taste really good. We're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of this is coconut flour. If I had almond flour, I would add it, but I haven't really added that today. Coconut oil and then sign up skillet. You could use a non-stick skillet, whatever you got. Um, and coconut oil is a good keto fat. So our broccoli crust, we're gonna spread it out in the pan. So you could make a tomato sauce for the pizza. I'm gonna make a pesto sauce. And so what we have in the blender already, and I don't have um, basil right now, so instead I have cilantro, parsley, a couple of cloves of garlic, and a little spinach, some salt, and we're going to add olive oil to it. I don't like using a whole half a cup in a recipe, but um, we'll use a goodly amount of olive oil. And I'm also gonna add the juice of one lime. It just makes pesto taste really good because it's the lime and the olive oil that kind of blend together. They do the magic. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and add some olive oil before we blend. That's about probably a quarter cup, twice. It's a lot of green. Let's put a little bit of salt on it. A little salt. We'll put some sliced tomatoes on top of the pesto and we're going to let that cook. And be sure to cook it with the cover on. I just don't like this pan fits better over this other pan than a lid does. So I'm just making it. It's kind of like making an oven on top of the stove. And it's kind of like cooking a quiche or a something that you would bake for a little bit with the eggs in it. And we're going to go ahead and keep letting it cook. So this is actually like a frittata, which is a Spanish omelet. And it's basically eggs and vegetables. And so I cooked it covered on the stove top in a good heavy pan and cooked it about 15 minutes and gradually layered the pesto sauce above the broccoli crust and the tomatoes and the cheese and kept it covered and kind of finished the cooking on a low heat. Now I'm letting it cool off a little bit so that it so that it dries really well. And if you're feeling kind of down and you need some Inspiration to remember who you are. Whoa, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration, and these words can take you far. I am a 21st century superhuman, and I know that the answers are inside. 21st century superhuman now, now, now is the time.